Hi, I'm Sandata here at Villarreal. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction C Language Programming Series. Last time, we discussed about function. And right now, our topic for today is about escape sequence. Okay? So right here, escape sequence is a character or a character literal or a constant that represent special character okay and we have 13 escape sequence all in all so we have 13 kind of escape sequence we have the backslash a is alert backslash b backspace backslash f form feed the backslash n new line the backslash r carriage return the backslash t horizontal tab the backslash v vertical tab the double backslash is a backslash and a backslash question mark is a question mark a backslash single code the backslash double code and the backslash triple zero is an octal number and the backslash xhh is considered to be a hexadecimal number now how we are going to use this uh, escape sequence okay so right now I'm going to do the code just type sharp include sd.h and we have integer main and we have begin and end okay at the middle of this we have you can type print f and uh, let's put upper left corner okay and next again we have uh, print f we have we're going to use the uh, the backslash t it stands for horizontal tab okay so let's put here uh, backslash t backslash t backslash t and backslash t then we're going to type upper right corner okay so that's it next we have print f we have the we're going to use the backslash n okay you, you cannot use all of this okay the the best thing is that if you want in your program to include such escape sequence um, any of the 13 kind so you can use it okay now uh, next we have backslash n Okay, so I put the uh, 9 uh, backslash n. So lower left corner. And we have backslash t. Sorry, sorry. Backslash t. And just type here lower right corner. Now, uh, let's put backslash n right here, backslash n, okay. and uh, that's it. So, what we need to do right now is to check what will be the output of using the escape sequence, okay, the 4 backslash t the 9 backslash n, the backslash n at the uh, end side of the second print f, the 4 backslash t, and the end sign on the left of the last print f. Okay, so let's check out. So, what you need to do first is to remove our last uh, topic. Okay, 
so just uh, exclude from the project and we have here then we have only one source file you can click debug and you can click start without debugging you can uh, click yes and you can check right here build started ready and uh, let's wait it's already they're compiling build succeeded the lower and that's the output okay we have here the upper left corner this is the first part the second is the upper right corner we have the backslash t okay one two three as you notice it is something like one inch okay and then that is a uh, tab the backslash n it will goes down again okay then 9 backslash n it will go down then lower left corner then after that we have 4 backslash t is the same as the upper part okay and we have and that's the output okay so uh, thank you for your time watching this video if you want more video check out my email sy villarreal junior 0105 1975 at yahoo.com.ph good luck